All right, seat belts are on. Fuel shutoff valve is on. Second clipping function is off. Rotor brake is disengaged. Circuit breakers are in. Carb heat is off. Mixture is full rich. Mixture guards installed. Landing lights are off. The avionics are off. Clutch is disengaged. The altimeter is set. Governor switch is on. Alright, so I'll give it one. Closed. Alright. Alright. Battery and strobe on. Area is clear. Clear. Okay, how do you read me? Got you loud and clear. All right. Continuing on. Waiting for the clutch line. Yeah, if you can see, uh, 
beyond the airport, you know you got more than a mile. No. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right, I'm almost out of the... Take over. Check out a little word of warning horn. At the 5275, he word ground, runway 2 at left at Alpha, taxi via yeah, Alpha. Good. Five, two, seven, five, aircraft information, Charlie, please. Charlie? Yep. And we're ready to go. Cool. Let's go ahead and pick ourselves up. Let's do a little bit spot Charlie first. All right. We'll kind of run through all our maneuvers at the airport. If all those look good, then we might uh, depart, do a little wait as well. All right. Do you want to do, um, uh, what do you do, air taxi to spot Charlie, or do you want to left well, traffic? Let's do, to let's do left traffic. Just a nice normal pattern to start out with. All right. Hotel at uh, Zulu Bay Meridian request left traffic to spot Charlie with with Charlie. Two nine nine zero Sarah Hotel, you were trying to make left traffic for spot Charlie and taxi Zulu of the Meridian clear takeoff spot Charlie clear clean. Clear takeoff Zulu of the Meridian um, left traffic spot Charlie clear land. Two nine nine zero Sarah Hotel. Cool. Minor detail: we're not on Zulu Bay Meridian because oh, yeah, we're, we're on Meridian. We're, I should yeah. say Meridian. Yeah. Zulu before yeah. I take off. Yeah, exactly. We shouldn't be on Zulu unless someone has, uh, unless we've already talked to him. Because Zulu's yeah, part he's of the, the What are you chair, doing yeah. on Zulu? Yeah. I think you can probably knows, see that but, we're not actually there. But, um, but yeah, you get But you, just to be technically correct. Yeah. Say that. Clear 
left center and right, turning left. Perfect. All right, lights out, top of the green. Three in the green, fuel, car repeat, pulling full car repeat. All right, clear left, center, and right, turning in base. Clear left, center, right, and turn in final. Just a tiny bit short, but we yeah, are here. Yeah, a little here. cheap there. All right, tell you what, I got your car beat down for you. Uh, let's do left closed traffic. Let's do a straight in auto rotation. All right. Here, tell our helicopter two nine zero zero. Tell left traffic spot Charlie. Helicopter zero zero. Tell make left closed traffic spot Charlie. Clear take off. Clear clean. Clear take off. Clear land. Left traffic spot Charlie. Two nine zero zero. Tell. Left, center, right, turning left. You are good. All right, lights out, top of the green, three in the green, fuel, RP, going full RP. All right, clear left, center, right, turning left. All right. 
Clear left, center right. Setup's looking good. Airspeed is between 60 and 70, altitude 600. Enter in 3, 2, 1. There you go. Nice entry. We're just going to glide our way down. Awesome. Nice job correcting for that RPM. Airspeed looks nice and steady. Nice. Just got a little correction. We're just cruising on it. Right around here, give me some up collective. Smoothly flaring the helicopter. And there we go. Right. Nicely done. Thanks. That looks great. What I really like is your attitude control throughout the uh, the auto. Everything stays nice and flat and smooth. And that keeps everything else nice and smooth for you as a result. Uh, nicely done. Thank you. Tell you what, let's do, let's try a couple hover autos. All right. All right, so talk me through it first. Alright, uh, so I'm going to roll into the detent simultaneously, give me right pedal, and, uh, or, well, simultaneously, or maybe even a little bit ahead. I'm going to ease off on the uh, left cyclic uh, because we're going to lose our translating okay. intensity. And uh, then I'm going to let it settle to about a foot or so hopefully above the ground, and then I'm going to start pulling. All right. Sounds like a plan. And get, uh, right here, I think that's about, foot. yeah, right here is about foot a good a height. Yeah, about a foot and a half, two feet. All right. All right, you got everything. Go ahead right. and count us down when you're ready. Okay, fingernails up. Outside. Hover auto in three, two, one. Pass. All right. So cyclic, or excuse me, collective control was good. I felt as you know, you probably felt as well. Touched down nice and soft, but you saw pedals definitely slow there. Yeah. So we can work well, the too head. fast on the throttle too. Well. And it's a mix of both. You could have gone slower on the throttle or faster on the pedals, but you do definitely need faster on the pedals. I think throttle overall, your goal is to be able to do it, you know, kind of quick. Yeah, okay. So just lead in with that pedal. Make sure you get it all the way over to where it needs to be. It's, you're going from left to mostly right. Um, or most of the way right. Um, so it's a decent amount. But excellent job with the collective. You let it sink, and then that pull down there at the bottom just to cushion and set down. And cyclic, too. I don't think we drifted at all. 151, Papa Hayward, ground. You are cleared to the Stockton Airport via fly runway heading. At 400 feet, turn left, heading 170. Hayward Tower, Skyhawk 52275, holding short, runway 28 left at Alpha, request uh, left downwind departure, runway 28 left. All right, hover auto in three, two, two, seven, five, 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 two, seven, on the collector then. Yeah. The 52275, they were tower, make a left downwind departure. Remain at or below 1,000 feet until Highway 92 and clear Vulcan class for the airspace. Runway 28 left at Alpha, clear for takeoff. 
Bay 2 8 left. Right. Clear to Let's take do one off. more. All right. uh, left downwind departure, remain under below 1000, still Highway 92. 2 8 left, clear to take off, 2005. All right, excellent job with the pedals, but you probably did also feel it pulled a little soon again. Yeah. Um, not as much as last time, you saw we stepped down a lot softer that time, but just a little preemptive. Let's end on that one. Okay. Let's go ahead and pick up. All right, I'll tell you what, I want to head out towards Coyote Hill, so let's right. ask for a left downwind departure. All right. Here to our helicopter 290 hotel, um, left traffic for left downwind departure. Helicopter 0 to hotel, make a left downwind departure. Remain out of below 1,000 to Highway 92. Wind clear, welcome class, Charlie Airspeed. Left Charlie, clear for takeoff, wind call. Clear takeoff, uh, left traffic, down, left downward departure. Uh, remain below 1,000 feet until uh, past 92. 290 to hotel. Okay. You don't have to say left traffic because oh. uh, you're asking for a left down. Oh, I'm not doing closed traffic. No. Because I'm. Okay, so. It is left traffic. What do you traffic, say? You just, you just say, you say left. What do you say? Left, left downwind. Oh, left downwind departure. Clear left, center right, turn left. Is departure altitude still 550? No, we're just below 1,000 until 92. Oh, okay. Well, do you want me to, where do you want me to be? Let's just keep gently climbing. Let's head out towards the hills there. And 92 is um, over oh, right here. Yeah, this freeway up over here.
there some sort of accepted like uh, procedure maneuver? Okay, so if you had, let's say you see traffic coming like like at the same level or something like that, are you supposed to? I mean, yeah. Do so you you're decide you're supposed to go right, left, up, down. Ooh, I want to say it's left. It's been so long since I've had to think about this. Actually, it hardly ever happens. But yeah, you're supposed to both turn. I think you should both turn left. I normally just end up um, descending the helicopter because it makes sense for us. Yeah. Since they're, an airplane's not going to descend the two. So usually if you see like someone would be like maybe conflicting, you just start a little descent, put yourself you know, offset that direction. Okay. It tends to deconflict pretty well. They wouldn't descend to. No. At least they shouldn't. Okay. For them, it doesn't make any sense because they like to have. They would have air. Yeah, they would have. They frequency approved for us. Was that? I don't know. They say. I don't know if that was us. Was it zero zero tower? I heard Julia in there. Oh, okay. No. It makes sense for it to be us. I don't know. I think it was zero 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 hotel frequency change approved. Oh, there we go. Frequency change approved zero zero tower. But I'm not changing frequency though, am I? No. It's just him saying goodbye. You're just saying, okay, yeah. You're out of our. Yeah. There were tower base flight 18 for Carlos with Delta um, requesting the option. Base flight 18, hey, we're tower from center, left base for runway 28 left, report pass and full bug. Enter left base for runway 28 left, report full bug. Uh, base base. Uh, someone's flying around down there. Uh, oh, that's Sakrat. What's that? We'll fly by our field. Where is yours? It's uh, by Coyote Hills. Oh, is it? Yeah. Where? Well, like I told you, we I waved it to you a couple times. On so the that's the only one I know of. Oh no! So oh, there's a uh, there's another. We, it's called the we call it the Dumbarton Field because it's just off the Dumbarton. Oh yeah. But uh, it's yeah, it's coming up here. I'll have to point it out. I assume it isn't as brightly colored as that one. No, there's no, it's helicopters. It's only, hel ah. it's helicopters and sailplanes. So, um, there's just like a little one, like one and a half by two foot rubber square that I land on. <laughs> that I practice doing autos too. When you're autoing the RC helicopter, how do you know what your RPM is doing? Um, you just, you just by hear, you can hear it, you can see the point, you can count blades, you know you're in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, it's, so it's kind of by, you can hear it. Uh-huh. Um, it's mostly just by hearing it. All right. All right, so let's see, where am I? Okay, it's right there. So... I'll fly over it. Okay, so this little road, this road here, that's the border. And then the other, uh, there's a little fence line. But it's right, it's this field here with all the scrub huh. and whatnot in here. So, see, uh, so there's that little diagonal path. Oh, yeah. And then there's that yeah, little, a little, there's square. a little wood plywood thing. And then there's a little rubber and there's a little rubber pad that I that I fly on. Oh yeah. So if you're flying over here and you see some cars parked over here, if you see a blue and Prius, that's me. All right. Up to 2,200 inbound the RNA for two eight left. So that little bare spot, that little mode yeah. area. That's. Then you can see a little black. Yeah. Black pad there. That's. We're to land two eight left. Oh, that's the that's the auto pad. 
didn't know that's what that was. I didn't know it was anything. <laughs> All right, cool. Well, I'll tell you what, let's climb on up a little bit. Well, let's practice some low rotor RPM recognition and recovery. What's our recovery going to be? Low rotor RPM, it's um, uh, increase the throttle and uh, lower the collective. Yeah. So we'll get ourselves all set up, and at some point you'll get low rotor RPM. And I just hey, wanted buddy, to number two, following recover four, once you see it happen. Four final, but like tweet left, click the option, and then make left close traffic. Number two, uh, following the Pilatus, Bay Flight 18. Bay Flight 18, certified run runway tweet left, number two, click the option. Number two, clear for the option, Bay Flight 18, for runway 28 left. Altitude we're looking for. Uh, around 15 is fine. Oh, yeah. Any particular, uh, what's that? Any particular speed we're looking I'd say roll on just a little bit smoother, a little slower. But um, well, there you go. And do both at the same time, down collective and roll on. Because okay. you're solving for two different problems. Uh, if the th rolling on the throttle is what's going to fix it, it's because the governor isn't working. Uh, but if it's the engine that's having a problem, then rolling on throttle isn't going to help. Because by that stage, the governor will have already rolled on as much throttle as, it, as is available. How much? Uh, oh, well, how much? So how much do you want me to lower the collective? It's going to be, I don't know, down like an inch oh, or so. Oh, okay. All right. It's not. You're not entering an auto, but you're. You're definitely. You're taking. You want to take. You, you want to see a noticeable reduction in power. Because oh. you want the RPM to be able to catch back up. Oh, okay. All right. So we want to see the the needle go down. Yeah. The man. Yeah. All right. So let's cruise around. Oh, 60 knots is good, just like a regular flight. And we'll go again. Going to 3 Alpha Alpha, stay parking. Going to APP for 3 Alpha Alpha. So the, this next the time, I want you to try and recognize it before the horn goes off. Yeah. So you're looking for left yaw, and you're listening and you're feeling for a change in those vibrations. So it'll all kind of it'll get a little slower. But that left yaw is a big one. You see that center post swing left. It's usually a combination of low rotor RPM. Oh, okay. Too hard because otherwise you'll overshoot. Oh, over speed. Yeah. Oh, so is it more, you're more lowering, dude? Yeah, it's just a smooth mix of both. But it doesn't have to happen that fast. There we go. 
Yeah. Okay. Oh. So that's it. Nice job. Okay, thanks. Alright. Let's see. So we have full carburetor heat. Everything is all set. And simulated engine failure. There comes that RPM. There you go. So make note of where your airspeed went to, because that was pretty fast. We don't want to accelerate up to 85. No. Your maximum speed in the auto is 75. Well, that gets you the furthest, but your regular is just right around 60. Let's make a gentle right hand turn. Uh, also, right now winds are pretty calm, um, so we can land pretty much any direction. Um, but we have some really nice fields over there. You could have stopped your turn and rolled out and hit those, or you could have kept going straight and you had some more options out there in front of you. Oh, okay. Um, so it's saying keep turning. Yeah. And just watch your RPM in the turn as well. Uh, so you started oh, out with an aggressive pull. turn. Um, the RPM is going to want to rise a lot more than usual. Okay. All right, cool. Let's set ourselves up. Let's actually go to the same spot. On the radio and we'll do it again. Go and play four right lock and play. Let's just make a left turn here. We'll go just right to where we were. And if you have lots of options like this, you don't have to be aggressive from the get-go. Okay. Yeah, let's roll out. Let's get ourselves straight for our entry. All right. And three, two, one. Watch your speed. You see, we got plenty of range right now. We should come down only a little bit long to the field. Well, let's go ahead and power recover. Speed this time looks way better. RPM looks way better. I'm go ahead and bring it back up. Keep your speed. All right, so we'll do one more. Go ahead and fly around a little bit. At All some right. point, you'll get an engine failure. Collective down, there you go. Alright, check your trim. Alright, this feels a lot better. Alright. Nice and smooth. Alright, we'll bring the power back in. Nice job, so we got all set up. 
We might have had some issues with those power lines as we got lower, so we want to keep an eye on that. And on your entry, make sure you get collective all the way down. You went part way down, and that's why you were out of trim uh, as well. The, not those power lines, you mean the telephone poles that yeah. are down there? Yeah, yeah, those ones. Yeah, okay. The other side of those. Yeah, let's do one more. Alright. I want to see just a nice clean entry, so right away, full down collective. Okay. And then that, that makes sure you get set up for a good auto. Speedway 18, wind 180 at 5, runway 28 left, clear for the option. Clear for the option, runway 28 left, state flight 18. Okay, 4150, Echo Hayward, ground, good morning, and stay in your destination. Okay, so I'm looking at the water to see if there's, like, very much ripple. See, I'm looking, there's there's wind. Yeah, there's I'm looking for the wind, so there's not that much. Yeah, all that smooth. And winds were calm, reported back in Hayward. They can pretty safely assume they're calm out here, too. Otherwise, I'd have to kind of worry about turning toward kind of... Yeah. Toward. And the, if, usually, if the wind was coming, it would be blowing, you know, like that direction. Yeah. But the turn, or try to... Yeah. And you have plenty of altitude, and you have lots of open spaces. Um, so even if, like, all those other spaces weren't available, you can get back to a spot underneath. You just fly out away from it, and then turn around and come back. So sometimes you don't want to turn right away. Sometimes you want to give a little bit of time, then you can make your turn. Yeah, back here at the clearance available. That's a nice entry. See how far the RPM drops still? Now look, the collective comes up to catch it. But getting the blades nice and flat will ensure the RPM doesn't decay any further. Awesome, now you're straight in from here. Let's bring our power back in, we'll recover, and then climb up and out. Excellent. I think that was the best one. Okay, thanks. Like lower the collective like you mean it. Yeah. <laughs> it is it is not possible to lower it too fast. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we've got like the one second. Yeah. I mean you wanna be coordinated and smooth and know when you're practicing. Yeah, okay, you know, that's one thing. Be that but if you ever need to just, just slam it down and figure it out later. All right. All right. Let's see that all went really well. Let's go and turn back towards uh Coyote Hills, so let's go back to 1500, and let's do some uh, vortex extension. All right. Safe flight 18, taxi back. Taxi back. Safe flight 18, turn left at Echo, taxi rolling to left at Zulu via Zulu. So, so standard recovery would be uh, forward collective, I mean, forward cyclic and lower the collective and yeah. kind of fly out of it. Yeah. And then, and then the shard would be uh, um, add collective, left pull, left, left pedal, right cyclic. Yeah. I think it's probably pretty good. Watch your power. 
So to enter, my preferred method is set manifold pressure to 15 degrees, or 15 inches, and bring the nose up 15 degrees, and just hold it. And you keep yourself in trim, that way you slow down nice and straight. Otherwise you'll find you're still traveling sideways. More nose up, more collective down. There you go, a little more nose up. And just let it sit back all the way into it. There we go, now recover. So we recovered, but how much altitude did we use? Probably about those three or four hundred feet. So what I want you to do is not just here, is not just to uh, do forward cyclic down collective, but then to get yourself back up afterwards. I have the controls. Okay. Here, let me demonstrate one for us real quick. Hey, we're power. I take one five one zero Papa zero. Take off with three left. Alright, so to enter, so Roger, you're going to have to stand by, um, down to 15, to work traffic and then get to, uh, 15 degrees to nose up, just let it sit here, now slow down, wait for it to drop, Holding for release. there you go, and there's that solid entry, so we give a little down, forwards, as soon as those trim strings come up, now we pull and level, now we're climbing again. So our goal is to get that to happen nice and quickly so that we can level out and then come back up. We want to see a positive rate of climb as soon as possible. Oh, okay. All right. Well, wait a minute. So you'll see, well, that goes eight, the four, method three, I use eight, is eight, I watch for the trim average, strings eight. to point up. As yeah. soon as they point up, that's airflow. Okay. Okay. And airflow yeah, means yeah, translating yeah, lift, which means you're out of uh, Okay, then you can pull the power back. back. Yeah, level and pull. Okay. You have the control. I have control. You have the control. Request landing. Yeah, so try that this time. Watch the trim strings, see what they do. Four, right. a word, uh, ground, runway two, eight, left, taxi via Zulu, and just see if I do the one is closed. So if you'd like to depart full length, I'll have to cross you at Zulu. Otherwise, you can... Uh, you right can pedal here, depart keep yourself in trim. There you go. Keep bringing nose back so we slow down. Nose back. There we go. Position one zero. Now we go. Wind two two zero at eight. Runway two eight left out one. Clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff. One five one zero. Papa. Level. Level the nose. You're still. If the nose is pointed down, you're still diving down. Oh. Okay. So the helicopter has to come flat again as you uh, recover. But good job pulling the collective right there. And then on the entry, hold the nose up higher. Otherwise, you won't enter vortex ring state. Because you have to get yourself all the way down to zero airspeed. Enter right phase, report cast, uh, 28 right, report passing Cal State, 275. Cool, let's do one more. Okay. Doesn't matter what direction I'm going. Nah, not really. There you go, just keep that, no that nose held up high. Nice job staying in trim. Keep that nose held up high, don't let it drop. That nose up high. There you go, now you're in more texturing state and recover. And you see those came up pretty quick. So now level, keep pulling. There you go. That's that recovery that we want to see. All right. Back goes eight four three. Caution for the display. Full short bars and alpha one. They are non-standard and setback. All right. Nice. Tell you what. Let's make our way back towards Hayward. I think that we're good. All right. On our way in, we'll do a little governor off. But so far, we've done everything. All right. Hayward Tower. Everybody. Only star below us. That A star is pretty low. Is that pretty low? It's pretty yeah, low. it's the parks department. Oh. They get away with flying low over the parks. Oh, yeah. Let's see what our is. One six five zero is observation. Wind two one zero at six. Visibility one zero. 
sky condition ceiling of 1,600 broken. Temperature 18, 2.13, altimeter 3006. RNAV GPS, runway 2 left approach in use. Landing and departing runways 28. Notice to airmen. Taxiway Zulu 1 is closed. Taxiway Foxtrot between runway 28 left. Departure end. Taxiway Zulu is closed. Multiple cranes of the vicinity of Hayward Airport. Check notams for more information. As this flood information for Northern California coastal waters available on flight service frequencies. Advise on initial contact of information Delta. Alright, information for Delta. K24, runway 2 left, Alpha 1, RCV, uh, Zulu, Alpha 1, cross runway 2 left. Hey, Tower, helicopter 290 Sierra Hotel, Coyote Hills, 1400 with Delta inbound meridian. Hey, from the Helicopter 290 Sierra Hotel, Hayward Tower, make straight in for taxiway Zulu and report a uh, two mile final. Straight in for Zulu, report two miles, Sierra Sierra Hotel. Cool. Yeah, and airport's just right over that way. Tacos 843, contact tower when ready. Am I aiming for a kind of the mall? Am I kind of aiming for the mall? Or, no, you're aiming for the airport. Oh, okay. I need to be uh, under 1,000 by the time we get to... Yeah, we'll, we'll drop ourselves down as we go. So from this angle, it pretty much lines up perfect to aim for just kind of the, the outside edge of the mobile home. So inside edge, I guess it is. Oh, okay, um, all right. That kind of right towards the Meridian ramp there. That goes 843 in Custom Jet 324. Continue holding. I'm not getting any uh, answer back from North Cal approach. Okay, we'll continue holding. Custom Jet 324. Hey, we're tower. Helicopter Zero Sierra Hotel, two miles. Helicopter Zero Sierra Hotel, thank you. Taxi Zulu, Beam Meridian, Clear to Land. Taxi Zulu, Beam Meridian, Clear to Land, Zero Sierra Hotel. Taxi Zulu, Beam Meridian, Clear to Land, Zero Sierra Hotel. Taxi Zulu, Beam Meridian, Clear to Land, Zero Sierra Hotel. Contact me cool. on 120.2. Go ahead and, uh, coming down, slowing down. Hey, we're tower, reporting south base, 275. Downwind check. All right, let's out, out the green, three in the green, fuel. All right, pulling full clear. Definitely slow yourself down here. Right, right, clear. For the option, they make right close traffic. All right. And let's complete the landing with the right, governor. Let's go to 843. Good morning. We are ready to go on to a left. If you see, it takes hardly right, anything. Just a little over tower. That's just the trick. Hey, we're tower. Bay flight 18 going around. Big Lady Team, Roger. Big Lady Team, number two, following Cessna, about a mile right, eight, runway two, eight, right, clear the option. Runway two, eight, right, clear for the option, number two, Big Lady Team.
Cobra Tower, good morning. Pipeline helicopter 2295, Fox Trot is about uh, 12 miles to the east southeast. We are uh, southeast in the center line. 700 feet landing, meridian with information Delta. Nice, go ahead and take me in and park. Alright. And we'll continue with the governor off, but you'll know that in the hover. Really don't have to do it. Hey, we're going to make sure that we're going to Zulu. And report a three mile final. Straight in for Tyson Wade Zulu, report three mile final. Helicopter 2295 Fox. Petition calling Hayward for clearance taken. Your call sign, please. Petition 340 Tango Hayward for clearance. Your clearance is on request. Change my frequency 1 to 1.4 in standby. Change for Pat Coast 843. Pat Coast 843, tower say again. Any change for our uh, departure? Pat Coast 843, negative. I don't have any uh, updates to your, your route. I'll All right. Wait for traffic now keep it in the green right on the way down. You'll find it takes a lot of throttle. And they're not responding to you? No. There you go. And as you push down, you kind of balance uh, between how fast you're pushing and how much you're rolling on. It's mm -hmm. so like if you accidentally roll on too much, you just shove it down a little bit and it'll so we drop off the throttle for you. Uh, your departure behind him. Kind of a relationship that balances out there. Excellent. All right, governor back on. Let's roll down. Nicely done. All right. There, keep bringing it down for me. Now let's secure our controls and cart heat in. Cessna two seven five, your number two following Cessna short finals. Runway two eight right, clear to land. Expect back to back. Following Cessna on final, uh, Oops, to the right, expect taxi back. That's the one you want. Clear to land. All right, so that went well. The straight in auto, the first one we did, excellent. Very good job there. Hey. Everything was nice and smooth, controlled, good flare. Um, on the similar to engine failures, just like you did the last time, just get the collective down and then kind of go coordinate from there. Okay. And you don't have to start off you know, really cranking the helicopter around, especially in a big open area like that. Okay. You got options. You can kind of, you know, get your bearings, figure out where you want to go, and then just maneuver there uh, okay. smoothly. Attention, uh, uh, Tango, Hayward, ground, roger, runway 28 And then the vortex ring state, just like we kind of talked yeah, about. Yeah, Once you see those chin sinks pick up, you say, okay, I got airflow, level pull. Um, you'll probably have a lot more incentive to do that when you're act when if it actually happens because you'll see the ground. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but you do your goal is to minimize altitude loss. Okay. Um, so as soon as you're able to say, okay, you know, the, it's going to perform level pull, reverse that needle, get it climbing again, um, and then that'll work well. Okay. Let's see. Low rotor RPM, just you know, a little slower on the throttle. Doesn't have to be aggressive, because you want you also don't want it as you know, roll Overstate. past either. Okay. Yeah, and you're still going to fly it all the way down to 80 percent. So you can it doesn't. This is not a rush thing. You say okay, the RPM's low. Let me just fix that. Um, just like you do with the governor off. You saw your RPM was low. You don't have to you know, oh, okay. roll on all at once. You just kind of like okay, like just let me fix that. But you got time to fix it. You're not in any immediate danger. Okay. Um, so I think that you're kind of face it with that sort of attitude, and that'll make it go a little, uh, just go nice and smooth for okay. you. Uh, I think that's about it. Governor Off looked really good. Flying overall is looking nice and solid. I want to look in your logbook and see how many hours you have. So I don't think I know how many you had I before you came here. Uh, 15. 15.2. Okay. Plus today. There's your two minutes. Cool, so you got about... 16 hours yeah, then. 16. Yeah, and you're on. And you've been doing about once a week now. Yeah. I've noticed. Cool. So I think your flying's looking nice and looking good. Your emergency procedures are good. 
We'll do a little bit more practice. You know, at some point, I'll have you fly with someone else. They can double check, see how you're doing. All right. Um, but I think you're on pace. You could solo at 20 hours if you wanted to. Okay. Seconds. 